Hello, I'm James Irving. My family and I would like to welcome you to the Lake District, the highest region in England. Its spectacular landscape of rugged mountains and great lakes that is rich in wild beauty and history. And it's also home to one of the oldest farming communities in the world. I live with my wife, Eleanor, and my two daughters, Emily and Jackie. We have lived and worked on the farm for over four decades, but our families have been in the Lakeland for many centuries. The longevity and survival of our ancient community and livestock is one of the reasons why the Lake District is now a World Heritage Site. Our farm, Whitewater Dash, is located on the northern edge of the higher part of the Lake District. We are a mixed sheep and cattle farm that is certified organic. However, I believe what we do goes beyond conventional standards. What we do is what farmers in the past have done for generations. We work with nature by adapting our farming and livestock to nature. Like them, we rear native breeds that have evolved over hundreds of years to suit our local environment and climate. At the Dash and Uldale Common, we raise Belty Galloways because they are hardier and suited to hilly terrain. They originate from the Black Galloway cattle, which is one of the oldest traditional breeds. Belted Galloways are a smaller and a very slow growing breed. They thrive on the coarser plants and vegetation on the high fells where other cattle are unable to. Despite these conditions, they are still able to produce great tasting beef with high levels of healthy fats like omega-3s. Beef shorthorns and belted galloways are fattened naturally on native grasses up to three years of age. This allows the meat to develop a nice mature flavour, just like how beef used to taste when we were kids. Anything that has been forced and hurried loses its consistency and taste. And since everything on the farm is native, from the breed to the soil and to the grasses, what you taste will be truly unique to our region. Many farmers live at the mercy of market demand, which want fast-growing and larger livestock breeds like the Charolais or the Limousine, but these can't survive in the Lake District without serious aid. If we were to raise these cattle, we would require a massive amount of input to keep them alive. We would need fertilisers to grow the increased amount of grass they eat, regular doses of parasite medication, extra housing to see them through the winter for six months of the year, which would also require bedding, feed and machinery. It's these saturated costs that make very little agricultural sense at a local and family level. We also don't give any drugs to our livestock, as these breeds have developed natural immunity to parasites on Dash and Stockdale. They have been intelligently adapted to nature, and that is the key difference. Because our ancestors have allowed evolution and nature to develop these shorthorns, belted galloways and herdwick sheep, it's common sense to farm these breeds and ensure their survival. These breeds are at the heart of the Lake District, our communities, our landscape and our food sovereignty. They will continue to thrive here as long as we continue to farm. I'm fortunate to be in this position where we live at Stockdale and we farm Dash Farms. So the only way to make it pay is to carry on farming using traditional breeds and we'll continue to do it to the best of our ability to produce this top quality meat and try and get the message through to people. You don't do it to make money, you do it to make a living, it's a way of life and that's all it is.